You are now tuned in to Filthy Fuck Tips on the one and only Foul Mouth's Patreon. And now, here's the man himself, the one and only Filthy Mouth Gamer. What's up, you fucking sluts in training? It's the Filthy Mouth Gamer, and I'm back for episode three of Filthy's Fuck Tips. Now, I want to apologize ahead of time. I know these aren't really that long, but I want you to understand that whenever I start talking about this shit, at the end, I got to run and, you know, rub one out. I got to do it, because it turns myself on. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But this week... We're going to be talking about foreplay. And we're going to be talking about a special kind of foreplay. I mean, foreplay is like getting jerked off, eating a fucking box, you know, shit like that. And that's all fine and dandy. We're going to get to that. But there's a special type of foreplay that I don't think enough people talk about. And it's foreplay like with words. What I mean by that is, you have no idea what happens to a girl, or a woman, or a broad, when you say the right shit to them to turn them on. And it's not only good for them, it's better for you. Because if you say the right shit, you will juice their fucking box up like you have no fucking idea. You're going to have to get sponges to sop up the fucking jizz that's going to be pouring out of this fucking broad's twat. I'm telling you right fucking now. Now, this, it's, I don't want to tell you what to say, because really it's a case-by-case basis. But what I will say is it's easier to say these type of things to someone who you're really attracted to, because it comes off real. If you're trying to just bang chicks and you want to fuck just an ugly broad just to get fucked, unless you're a good salesman, it's going to be hard to sell this shit. But I'll give you examples of what I'm talking about. You're laying down with a fucking chick and, you know, you know, you're kissing and you're touching or whatever, just whispering shit into your ear like, you know, when I look at your eyes, it just gives me fucking goosebumps. I mean, my hair stands on end because you turn me on that much. But you, you kind of want to almost whisper it in their ear, like get really close to their ear, because not only are the words going to turn her on, but the actual breath, the cool breath, or maybe you're a hot-mouthed motherfucker, the hot breath will give a chick goosebumps. I'm telling you. Try it out. Talk about whatever whatever turns you want about her. Is it her eyes? Is it her lips? Is it her fucking nose? Maybe your fucking foot fetish. Maybe it's her feet. Tell her what turns you on about her. What she does to you inside. Women love that shit. They love to be told how hot or beautiful or sexy they are. Don't just do it just to do it, because I'm telling you, it's very rare when a guy can bullshit their way into saying shit about a girl without coming off like they're lying. It's fucking hard to do. If you're with a girl that really turns you on, don't be afraid to tell her this shit. Tell her. It will really go a long way. I mean... It will fucking make a girl, unless she's a dead fish. I mean, I've gone out with a lot of dead fish that just lay there. Like, you can go to a fucking morgue and open up any drawer of any body and fuck it. And it's the same type of shit. They are out there. And those suck. But if you want a girl, doesn't have to be a fucking whore. Doesn't have to be a total aggressive slut. It can be just a normal girl, and you say the right things, and she will fuck you 
like there's no tomorrow. They'll be like passion. They'll be fucking, I don't know. I mean, some girls, some girls will tell you to choke them. Some girls will tell you to grab their fucking hair. Some girls will tell you to smack their ass. You gotta just do the right things. And say the right things. And that will get you your foot in the door. Now, another thing you could do, and this is very important, take your fingertips and slowly run them like upper arms or upper legs or on her neck. Do it to yourself right now. You see that fucking tingling feeling that you get? That will fucking make chicks fucking wild. It's funny because that's kind of the same feeling that you get when you're on pure ecstasy, MDMA. It's like a tingly feeling that covers your whole fucking body. Don't run out and start doing fucking Molly and ecstasy. Relax. Calm down. We're not, this is not a drug show. This is a fuck show. Do that. Sometimes, you know what else works? If you kind of just play with their hair. I've Most girls I've ever been with love when you play with their hair. They fucking love it. I don't know what it is. It just feels good. Rub their head. Massage. You don't even have to be good at it. Just massage her neck. This is the simple shit. Just simple fucking shit that goes such a long way. I promise you. You could even do some of this shit before you even kiss her. Just lightly fucking run your fingertips up the back of her neck. Holy shit. You're gonna, it's gonna blow your fucking mind. When you try this shit out, you're gonna be like, holy shit, that filthy asshole was so right. So now, go out there and try this shit. And until next time, this has been the Filthy Mouth Gamer, and that's one to grow on. Oh yeah, that's one to grow on. You heard him? That's the Filthy Mouth Gamer. And the filthy fog tear. Catch the filthy mouth gamer exclusively here on the Patreon with the filthy fog tips every single two weeks. <laughs> That's bi-weekly. Peace out.